Today we're going to be writing equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. So let's get started. These first two examples, it says write the equation in slope intercept form, that's this right here, of the line that is parallel, same slope, to the graph in each equation and passes through the given point. So we're looking for in number one, a line that is parallel to this line and it passes through this point. So what do we know about parallel lines? We know that their slopes are the same. So if this has a slope of three, the slope of this new line is also gonna be three. So now we wanna write the equation of the line that is a slope of three and passes through this point right here. Well, how do I do that? I use point slope form. Remember, that's y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. So let's plug these into our formula. y minus y1, which is 5, equals the slope, which is 3, times x minus x1, which is 1. And now we're just going to simplify this and convert it to slope-intercept form. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute this 3 into each term inside the parentheses. So y minus 5 equals 3x minus 3. And now I need to solve for y. So I'm going to move this 5 over, or negative 5, I guess. And I get 3x plus 2. y equals 3x plus 2. This is the line that is parallel to this one, but also crosses or passes through this point right here. Number 2. So this is kind of number 1 is like an easy version, and number 2 is the most difficult that you'll see in Algebra 1. So on number two, I'm looking for a line that's parallel to this one that passes through this point. Okay, so I need to know the slope of this line. So you might recall from yesterday how I can, when I see a, an equation in standard form and it's ax plus by equals c, my slope is the opposite of a over b. So you might be able to easily see what your slope is going to be in doing that. But for the sake of practice, we're actually going to convert it to slope-intercept form. So what do I do when I'm solving for y? I need to move this entire x term over. 2y equals negative 5x plus 8. And then I'm going to divide by 2. And what gets divided by 2? Everything. y equals negative 5 over 2 times x plus 4. So you may recall if a is 5 and b is 2, then my slope would have been the op negative, the opposite of 5 over 2. And in fact, that is what it is. So now I'm looking for a line that is a slope of negative 5 over 2 and passes through this point right here. There's my x point and there's my y point, or x coordinate, y coordinate. So I'm going to use this point slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus my y coordinate, which is negative 4. And remember, I'm going to write this over here. y minus negative 4 is the same thing as y plus 4. So that's why I'm writing it like that. Equals negative 5 over 2 times x minus Four. And now let's move on. y plus 4 equals negative 5 over 2 times x, because I'm distributing this 5 over, negative 5 over 2, negative 5 over 2 times negative 4. What is that? It's basically multiplying this negative 4 times negative 2 and a half, which is positive 10. Remember, you could always do 5 over 2 times 4 over 1. And multiplying fractions ain't no problem. Top times top, bottom times the bottom. And now I need to get y all by itself. So I'm going to subtract 4. y equals negative 5 over 2 times x plus 6. And there's the equation of my line. So let's move on. Numbers 3 and 4. Write the equation in slope-intercept form of the line that is perpendicular 
to the graph in each equation and passes through the given point. So the slopes of lines that are perpendicular, they're not the same, they're opposite reciprocals. Remember, it has to satisfy both requirements. So in number three, this is in slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. I can easily see that the slope is one over two. It's that number in front of the x. So the slope of a line that's perpendicular to this will not be one over two, it will be negative, flip it, two over one, which is negative two. Okay, so in this one, it's a little more difficult and I'm taking the opposite reciprocal. And now, because I'm given a point, x1 and y1, and a slope, I'm going to use my point-slope form to figure out the equation of my line. So y minus y1 is y minus 7 equals my slope, which is negative 2, times x minus x1. And remember, x minus negative 2 is the same thing as x plus 2. And now I'm just going to simplify this and convert it to slope-intercept form. So I'm going to distribute this negative 2, and I get negative 2x minus 4. And then I'm going to add 7 to both sides, and I get y equals negative 2x plus 3. So number 4. Number 4 is more difficult because my equation is in standard form. So this is the most difficult that you will see in Algebra 1 regarding parallel and perpendicular lines. So the first thing I want to go over is if, if there's nothing in front of a variable, what can you put there? You can put a 1. That helps a lot of students out. So remember, the slope of a line that's in standard form, which is ax plus by equals c, is the opposite of a over b. So you might be able to go ahead and tell me what the slope of this line is, but again, we're going to convert it to slope-intercept form so that you get practice with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this x term over to the right, and I'm left with 4y equals negative 1x plus 12. And then I need to get rid of that coefficient, so I'm going to divide by 4. Everything gets divided by 4, and I'm left with y equals negative 1 over 4 times x plus 3. So now we need to remember the slope of this line is negative 1 fourth. We're looking for the slope of the line that is perpendicular to that, meaning the opposite reciprocal. So the opposite of negative is positive, and the reciprocal of 1 over 4 is 4 over 1, which is just 4. So the opposite reciprocal would be positive 4. Now we're looking for the equation of the line that contains this slope and passes through this point. So again, point slope form, and I'm going to zoom out so you can see that's up here that I'm using. So y minus y1, which is negative 6. y minus negative 6, same thing as y plus 6, right, equals slope of 4 times x minus negative 2. Minus negative 2 is the same thing as plus 2. And now we're just going to simplify it by distributing this 4 into each term inside the parentheses, and I get 4x plus 8. And then I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides, and I get y equals 4x plus 2. That is the equation of the line that is perpendicular to this line and passes through this point. And that concludes your notes over parallel and perpendicular lines, day two. I hope it was helpful.